Herzlich willkommen zu Welcome to episode 19 of our knowledge series Basics of Electrostatics. As always, Olaf has brought us something. Yes, and it's a highly topical subject, namely electrostatic filters, flue gas separators, or particle separators. There are many names for them. We simply call it an electrostatic filter. That's right. I recently saw a report on TV. It was about the fact that by the end of 2024, a number of furnaces, I think it was even a few million, in Germany may have to be shut down or retrofitted. It was all about electrostatic filters. Exactly. This is an application of electrostatic filters. And today, we want to take a closer look at this from an electrostatic point of view. What does an electrostatic filter actually do? I have brought along a small demo model for this purpose. An electrostatic filter consists of a separator electrode, which is usually earthed. Via this cable, a high voltage generator with a needle electrode or charging electrode depending on the type. There are different geometries depending on the manufacturer. And then of course, we need a particle. And since it's difficult to get such a dust particle or smoke particle onto the camera, I've brought along a symbolic polystyrene ball. And when this polystyrene ball comes into the area of the needle electrode or the charging electrode and is charged, it immediately jumps in the direction of the deposition electrode and then sticks to the deposition electrode until it is finally cleaned at some point, for example by the chimney sweep for a home fireplace. In other words, it sticks to the chimney wall, so to speak. Exactly. So as soon as we put charge on it, it immediately jumps to the earthed electrode and sticks there. Since we have a larger part here with a polystyrene piece, the charge will eventually decrease and it will jump back. The smoke or whatever we want to filter then sticks to the separator electrode. All right, Olav, now I know that you also show something with smoke in our electrostatic workshops. There's a special experiment. Yes, and we'll rebuild very quickly for that. So, we have rebuilt a mini model of an electrostatic precipitator. It's a flue gas generator that uses the hose to transport the smoke into this plexiglass tube. Here, this whole black part is printed from conductive plastic, which means it is conductive and is grounded here via this plug. Now we have a needle electrode at the top of the cover. I'll show you in a bit more detail. And the needle electrode is what I had before on the high voltage generator with the needle. Enough tarking. Let's get started. And let's bring our smoke into the tube. Nebel. Which means that the entire plexiglass tube is now full of smoke. And as soon as I go to the inner needle with the high voltage generator and apply high voltage to it, you can immediately see how all the smoke is removed. What do you think? Amazing. So super impressive. And I think we'll now show a practical experiment. We have built a larger model with a real electrostatic filter, a real particle separator. And that's why we're already rebuilding, and we'll see you again soon. Here is a one-to-one -one model of a so-called electrostatic filter, or particle separator, as used, for example, in wood-burning stoves in the Schoenstein. This model is from Kitzner and Weber. Thanks again for that. And as always, Olav explains the details. Thank you. There are not many details. The filter is relatively simple. We have a plexiglass tube so that we can look inside so that we can observe the separation process a little. However, as a plexiglass tube is not conductive, we had to help ourselves. And that's why you can see this grid, which is basically a metal grid. We built it into the plexiglass tube as a separator electrode. And in the middle we have a sawtooth, and this sawtooth is the charging electrode. This is where the particles are charged in flight, just as we saw before. And then the whole thing is connected to our high voltage generator. 
which we can now control here for the laboratory tests with such a panel. And I now switch on the high voltage with 30 kV. High voltage runs up. And in this case, we have 830 microamps. And if I now activate the smoke or the flue gas with my remote control, it will soon rise. You can see it coming from below. Now you can see it. And you can see it quite well now, because from here, where the electrode comes, it doesn't really go any further. Nothing comes out up here. Exactly. The particles are charged and deposited on the wall. And to make sure everyone believes me, I'll just switch off the high voltage. So, if we switch off the high voltage, the smoke can pass unhindered and enter the atmosphere. Wow, very impressive. Incidentally, the smoke, or rather the fine dust particles, which are then deposited on the chimney wall, are then cleaned and disposed of by the chimney cleaner. Exactly. So, once again, I find it super impressive what is possible. You've also seen how suddenly no more smoke comes out, or rather, when you switch off the filter, smoke comes out again. There are countless possibilities. For example, I have seen that in the smoking area at the airport, the cigarette smoke is separated with an electrostatic filter, but coal-fired power stations also have electrostatic filters in the giant chimney. Do you know anything else? So I think coal-fired power stations are also where it actually started. Electrostatic filters have been in use there for decades. There are also applications in ships, for example, in the chimneys of cruise ships. I have heard of electrostatic filters being installed in tunnels. So there really are a wide range of applications. And that's why I'm delighted that we're so actively investigating and researching them. Because I think it's a really exciting topic. And also a very promising topic for the future. We all want to have clean air. Yes, that would be wonderful, and we are trying to work on it. Well, that's it from us again at this point. I hope it was informative and interesting for you again. And if you like, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.